Welcome to our lecture online. So in the previous video we saw how to calculate the potential due to a single charge, but how do we calculate the potential at a particular point due to the presence of multiple charges. Now the nice thing about potential is that it's not a vector quantity, it's a scalar quantity, so direction doesn't matter. It's simply a superposition of the voltages caused by each of the three charges, and only the distance matter, not the direction where they're located at. So in other words, the potential at this point right here, due to the presence of these three charges, is simply the sum of the potentials caused by each of the three. So we can write KQ1 over R1 for the first charge, plus KQ2 over R2 for the second charge. Oh, that should be a plus. Plus KQ3 over R3 for the third charge. Now, notice though that Q3 will be a negative charge, so this will form in or cause a negative voltage to exist there, so we'll end up subtracting that voltage rather than adding that voltage. So we add the three voltages together, so we have the first voltage, so K times Q divided by distance, K times Q divided by distance, K times Q divided by distance, and each of those has units of Newton meter squared per coulomb squared times coulomb divided by meters. Then. If we then calculate each of the voltages, notice we have 14,400, 18,000, and then a negative 22,500 for the third charge. The voltage is a little bit bigger in magnitude because it's a bigger charge, and it's only 4 meters away. So when we add all together, the potential at that location, due to the presence of these three charges, is 9,900 volts in reference to being infinitely far away where the voltage then is defined to be zero. And that is how it's done.